Celebrity deaths in January 2019, the famous faces and notable figures we said goodbye to this year. Remembering the celebrities, sports stars, politicians and other notable figures who have sadly died in January 2019. Script from Sky News. Prodigy star Keith Flint, actors Luke Perry, Peter Fonda and Doris Day, chef Gary Rhodes and sporting legends Gordon Banks and Nicky Lauda are just a few of the stars we said goodbye to in 2019. Here's a look back at the careers and the legacies left behind following the deaths of famous faces from the worlds of music, film, TV, fashion, sport and politics. Dick Miller was a star of 1980s classics such as Gremlins and The Terminator. All clips may not represent the story. The character actor rose to prominence playing Walter Paisley in cult classic A Bucket of Blood in 1959, and went on to appear in Fame, The Howling, The Burbs and scores of other films in a career spanning more than 60 years. Director Joe Dante, who worked with Miller on many of his films, including Gremlins, paid tribute to a dear friend and said he loved watching him act following his death at the age of 90. Watch to become bilingual with latest world news. Grammy Award winner James Ingram was an R&B artist who had two US number ones, Baby, Come to Me, 1983, and I Don't Have the Heart, 1990, and also co-wrote Michael Jackson's Pretty Young Thing with Quincy Jones. The American singer-songwriter also wrote Look What Love Has Done, sang by Patti Smith, from the movie Junior in 1994. He died at the age of 66, with Jones among those paying tribute to a simply magical performer. Michel Legrand was an Oscar-winning composer who worked with the likes of Frank Sinatra, Miles Davis, Ray Charles, Aretha Franklin, Liza Minnelli, Edith Piaf and Barbara Streisand, pictured above. The Frenchman wrote more than 200 film and TV scores during a career spanning more than 50 years, winning Academy Awards for the much-covered hit The Windmills of Your Mind and for his music for Summer of 42 and Yentl, as well as five Grammys from 17 nominations. He died aged 86 with his wife, the actress Maha Merrill, by his side. Windsor Davies was best known for starring as Battery Sergeant Major Williams in It Ain't Half Hot Mum, which followed the adventures of a Royal Artillery concert party. Before securing his most famous part, the actor appeared in an episode of Doctor Who in 1967, and would later play a starring role in Carry On Behind in 1975, Carry On England in 1976, and rugby comedy Grand Slam in 1978. The father of five died peacefully at the age of 88 just four months after a loomed, his wife of 61 years, passed away. Broadway star Carol Channing played the role of Dolly Levi in the musical Hello, Dolly, almost 5,000 times during her stage career, which also included performances in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes and Lend an Ear. The League of Professional Theatre Women described the singer, dancer and comedian as a gift of inspiration to so many. She died of natural causes, aged 97, at her home in California after suffering two strokes in 2018. Bob Einstein was best known for playing Marty Funkhauser in Curb Your Enthusiasm, but also played stuntman Super Dave Oborn in Super Dave, and had roles in Arrested Development and Ocean's 13. The actor started his career as a writer, working on the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour alongside Steve Martin. He was a two-time Emmy winner and had been nominated a further four times for his comedy writing. He died aged 76, shortly after being diagnosed with cancer. Legendary former WWE interviewer, Mean, Gene Okerlund, second left, was a dominant presence during the then WWF's mid to late 1980s period, when he was frequently seen on screen alongside Hulk Hogan. He made the move to WWE in 1984 and became a staple on national cable television, and also branched out to ringside commentary and hosting several shows, including All American Wrestling, Tuesday Night Titans, Wrestling Challenge and Primetime Wrestling. Hogan was the first to pay tribute following his death at the age of 76, writing on Twitter, Mean Gene I love you my brother HH. He was the world's cutest dog, a Pomeranian called Boo who had been pictured with celebrities including former One Director star Liam Payne and actor Seth Rogen, and even had his own book. In an emotional post to his 17 meters social media followers, his owners in the US said he died in his sleep, aged 12, and that they were heartbroken. Boo had been suffering heart problems since the death of Buddy, his companion of 11 years, in 2017, they said. 
Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.